Hi y'all and welcome once again to Africa Light, your one-stop shop for all things Afrotainment. And joining us in the studio once again today, Boom. a day shopper in the house. How you doing? I'm all right, thank you for joining us once again. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to start with a little something that I came across yesterday. Yep. Because I basically thought that um, it was the guys who were meant to do the chasing. Yeah. But these days Chase I'm women. seeing... Yeah. Yeah. Chase yeah. women. Of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But these Either days, way. it's like it's the women chasing the men. It's 2013. Oh, you know, that things kind of have time, changed. Yeah? Absolutely. With kids. <laughs> He's in the middle of one right now. Okay. He's got a fan who's yep. talking about... Um, <clears throat> she says... You're the best Nigerian musician. What? I don't think I can say any more, but just take a look and see the tweet. It's coming up on your screen right now. You're the best Nigerian musician of my choice, and I would like to <clears throat> destroy you. Okay. Yes. Now, basically, on, she those are two things she put in that sentence. Mm -hmm. One, she's identified him as the best Nigerian musician that she likes. Uh -huh. And second of all, she's found him sexually attractive. Now you've got the crazed fans, young and old, female fans. I think it's so super cute, it's sexy, all that type of stuff. And maybe out of, you know, one moment of madness, they come out with statements like that. Whiskey answered that statement, you know, because he was shocked. He's like, wow. Oh, God. Like, <laughs> A lot of these fans yeah. are slightly older. David O and Whiskey especially, you know, they're in like their early 20s. Yeah. But I, I've come to realize that... A lot of their fans were like late 20s, 30s. It's you 2013. Know? It's okay for older women to find younger you guys serious? attractive now. Oh, we're loving the whole cougar thing uh, now, Listen, yeah? it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Most of Whiskey's fans, of course, are younger girls that really love his music, find him attractive and all that type of stuff. But the older women as well, they're so cute. You know you love him some Whiskey. <laughs> when you say, he's so cute, we've heard all of that type of stuff as well. Exactly. Yeah. Also, yeah. David O, he's got his fans. And, you know, Bad she's boy. got HKN on the back of her neck with David O's name right there. Like, yeah. It's Bad, Bad boy. David O's property. Bad, Bad boy. boy. The thing is, <laughs> these two guys are similar in age. They make music probably for the same type of generation, yeah. Yeah. the same type of audience and fan base. But they're two different types of guys. Mm -hmm. Now, Wizkid is your Disney young Justin Bieber okay, type of yeah, yeah. guy or Justin Timberlake, lovable, huggable, that sellable. type of sellable to the international market, all the young girls and that. David O is similar, also lovable, huggable, sellable to the international market, yeah, but he's edges. got the almost kind of like Chris Brown tattooed yeah. up, two, you know, two pack, Bad hug boy. life. Exactly. So when you see his own fans, you're going to get those kind of girls that will tattoo David O on their back. Now, who in their right mind tattoos someone else's name on their, back. on their back? You know, we've seen situations where you do, maybe when you're in love, but she's never met the guy physically. That's what, you know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't get it. Exactly. But that's love for his music, love for his brand. That's HK and gang, like, HK all everything. over her back. I also came across um, Cass. He's apparently lost... Female, baby, female. You know that's a, I mean, that's, that that's a tune. That's a tune. But apparently he's lost his camera. Okay. And he's put up a $2,000 reward for anybody who would return that camera to him. Yes. Okay, now return the camera to him, $2,000 reward. Yeah. The camera's not worth $2,000. Absolutely. So obviously there's a little bit more to the story. Well, the story is that he's put up a reward of two thousand dollars for anyone who's going to return his camera that he's got personal stuff mm -hmm. on that camera yeah. now personal stuff camera people start thinking sex day nudity you know nude, nude pictures mm -hmm. what in the right in this world can be on that camera he's not saying anything mm -hmm. his camp are not saying anything all they're saying is if you find a camera that has just one picture of cats <laughs> on it bring two thousand you bring it to us and we'll give you two thousand dollars it might be a publicity stunt. Um, if it I'm is, it is. I've got to say Cass did well. It's all about publicity. It's all about getting this thing out there. But when we're talking, if the other side of rewards and publicity mm -hmm. is the likes of Ryan Leslie, who put up a million dollars for anybody who will return his, his laptop. laptop. That we know was not, you know, was not a joke. Oh, of course. Come because on, it was music. It was all, it was his life's compilation yeah. that someone took away with his laptop and he offered a million dollars for it two thousand dollars for a camera 
<laughs> Listen, I'm not too sure, but Cass, yeah. you know, I still give you props for, for, for coming up with that. Though. For trying, yeah. He yeah. did well, he did well. He did yeah. well, he did absolutely. Well. Okay, so last up today, yeah. we're talking about Miss, well, not Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Two-Face Edibia mm. and Miss Annie McCauley. Their wedding. The king of Afro pop, Afro beats, African popular music, African highlight. The king of African music right now, Two Face. Absolutely. So now, apparently, they're meant to be getting married in February, which is February 14th, which was the day he proposed to her. But that's not happening at the moment because he's got other engagements. He's probably one of the most hardworking Nigerian entertainers or African entertainers around now. Yeah, definitely. he, He performs. I, from what I see, he probably performs every single week. Oh, wow. And not only in Lagos, in so Nigeria, in Ghana, South Africa, oh, the United Kingdom, place. the States. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if his work, you know, if, if his work or, or his business it would affect a situation like He's, that. Since he proposed to his, you know, his fiance, everybody's been, you know, checking, you know, what type of ring, he bought a new house, where are they moving to the house, all that type of stuff. So people are really getting into his story yeah. rather than the whole, what he wanted to do. What he wanted to do was make a honest woman of the mother of his children. children yeah. So I think that's probably going to happen very soon. And it might just surprise us that a couple of days before the 14th of uh, well, February, the pictures would just come out. It's very married. possible. Absolutely. Two-Face and Dibia. Come on, man. He, he deserves his time. Oh, yeah, he does. Like um, Two Baba, as you said, the king. Yeah, Afro-pop, yeah. Afro-beats, man. Long live the king. Absolutely. Long live the king. <laughs>